Hey everyone, GraphicsWorks here, and we are back with Firework. We're getting very close to wrapping up the story. We've discovered what exactly happened to Tian Wu, and I'm very curious how the rest of the story is going to unfold with regards to Feng Feng, Higoli and the grandmother, and the grandfather as well. Let's open this pot and see what happens. My grandparents have never smiled since Dad died. Grandma's burns burns incense and prays to Buddha every day. Grandpa always hides on the balcony and cries secretly. I hope they'll stop being sad. My grandma and grandpa said today is the soul summoning day. Actually, I know that mom was pretending to be dad, just like the old lady. Every time she pretended to be dad, mom had to eat fish, which she hated. Grandma said that mom loves me and dad very much. She will do things that she doesn't like. Was it because she loved me that she ate the fish? But I don't want mom to do things she doesn't like just because she loves me. I hope mom can do what she likes. Mom said there would be no worries after taking this medicine. I hope that when I wake up, mom, grandpa, and grandpa will be okay. Fang Fang, what are you doing? Mom forgot to turn off the stove when she went out, so I'm helping her watch it. She's too forgetful. Save some food for her. Let's eat first. Mom, I'm back. Fang Fang? Fang Fang. Oh no. A white shirt? Tian Fang Fang. Mom, what are you doing? We're leaving this place after the National Day. I'm packing up your clothes. Mom, this white dress is gorgeous. Why didn't you wear it? Mom is too old for this. No, I think you're still young. Leave this. Please wear this next time we go to the park. I want to take photos of you. I'm really glad that you're such a sweet girl, Feng Feng. Your dress is a bit wrinkled. Let me iron it. Jinx, you're not good until you're dead. You have to die with us. Take the poison. Now. My body will not rot into the mud like a bird I'll die in the sky
Why did this happen? Miss Chen. I'll try to report our findings to my superior. But the evidence is lacking, so it's very likely that. I understand. That's not the result I wanted to see either. Would people believe that Feng Feng accidentally poisoned the family out of good intentions? They'd only think that Feng Feng killed the whole family due to mischievousness. I'm sorry for taking all of your time for nothing, Officer Lin. This place seems to have changed back. Mm-hmm. The sound of a door opening comes from the entrance. Miss Chen, there's nothing left to be investigated. I want to tell you one more thing before we leave. I lied to you. I got the ledger before the incident occurred. I've sent it to the press. It's okay, Miss Chen. Handing it to the press is the same thing as handing it to us. It's good as long as we can expose Tian Grong's transactions with his buyers. Let's go then. Officer Lin, I think I have left something back in the Tian house. I'll be right back. Sure, I'll be waiting for you here. The phone's ringing. Hey, it's ringing from inside. A voice call record is shown on the screen. Hello? King Sweet? Hi Chief, it's me. I received the ledger. No one else has read it, right? I'm the only one. Why are the names of our company executive executives on it? That happened a long time ago, and the laws were strictly enforced at, weren't strictly enforced at that time. So, will their names be published? Some of the names on the, on it can be made public. Some can't for now, and some can never be shown in public. After all, it's good to. It's good now that we've got the ledger. Kingsway, you've done a fantastic job. The credit is not mine. I've heard about what happened to the Tian family. What a shame that we weren't able to thank Miss Zhao in person. Don't get too hung up on it, Kingsley. Also, now that... Uh, the grandfather is dead. The buyers might search his house for the ledger. It isn't safe for you to stay there. You should return as soon as possible. Chief, I have to prepare for class. Being a volunteer teacher is nothing but a disguise. Don't fall too deep into that role. I'll send someone to pick you up tomorrow. How does that sound? Can you give me three more days? I want to sort some stuff out. And I have another request. After the article is published, can you remove my name from it? Wh why? We'll talk when we meet, Chief. Okay. 
Make sure you stay safe. Why is stay safe in red? Um... Okay, so if we go back out... Chen, you are still one mysterious character. Did Miss Chen make it back? Where did Miss Chen go? Have you seen Miss Chen? How long has it been since she last came to school? Has she gone missing? How can she be missing? Greetings, residents. This is a no notice for a missing person. Jen Kingsley, a local female primary school teacher, has been missing for three days. Miss Chen left school the night of the 23rd. Her whereabouts are currently unknown. She was wearing a white blouse, long blue skirt, red hairband, and was carrying a red umbrella when she disappeared. If any residents know the whereabouts of Miss Chen, please inform the office. In addition, we'll organize an aqu aquatic search and rescue that we hope seasoned swimmers and divers can participate actively. I'd also like to remind everyone that there have been a lot of rain during the season and the roads near the river are slippery, so pay attention while driving. Missing. A female, age 27, grade 3 Chinese teacher of Kington Primary School. She was missing after uh, red umbrella contact number... Okay. Where do you think she went? I heard that it rained on the day she disappeared, so do you think possible she fell into the river? <clears throat> Tian's granddaughter was Miss Chen's student. Nothing good has happened to anyone who got close to that family. Right, people have been saying that they received calls from Tian's daughter-in-law in the middle of the night. I've also heard the town is going to hold a memorial for Miss Chen. Why would they hold a memorial when they haven't even found the body? Miss Chen is young and single. It'd be ominous that she died away from home. If they had performed a ritual earlier, the spirits could have caused so much trouble. Huh? Kids, what are they doing? We're here to look for Miss Chen. People have been saying Miss Chen fell into the river and drowned. But we believe she'll come back. Grandma said that if we release lanterns into the water, people who fell into the river will follow the lanterns and find their way back. It's dangerous to go near the river. I'll help you release the lanterns. Okay, thank you, officer. Press A to release the lanterns. Oh, and now we play as one of the lanterns. Okay, cool. Oh, this is another one of the musical things. Okay. Chapter 6, Milky Way. There's still more to this story, everyone. I was not expecting this.
There's Miss Chen. Miss Chen. Officer, what brought you here? I'm looking for you. So many people are. Sorry for worrying you all. A lot of things happened recently. My mind is a mess. All my troubles seem to disappear every time I come here. What is this place? It's an empty field behind my house. When I was little, I accidentally fell into a dry well while I was playing here. It was at night, and I was very scared. I had no idea how much time had passed, and I had inadvertently looked up. I saw something that I never forget for my whole life. I seemed to have forgotten my fear, I was just staring at the bright starry sky. Then someone dropped a rope down to me. I slowly climbed up the rope. As I climbed closer to the top, my range of vision grew wider. As soon as I made it out of the dry well, the entire sky stretched out before me. But I didn't find the person who had dropped the rope down. I didn't tell my parents about this when I got home. I thought it was just an unforgettable childhood experience that stuck with me. But after spending some time in Kington, I finally understood. The children here are like me when I was trapped in a well. And they can only look up to see a little part of the starry sky. I want to be the one who throws the rope down to them. I want these children to go out and see the world. Miss Chen, I know you want to help those children. They are also waiting for you to return. It's time. We can use this rope to climb out of here. By the way, Miss Chen, something else just came to my came to my mind. I promise you that I tell you how I obtained those clues about the Tian family's case. It... There's no need. I got the gist of it. You're different from everyone else. This could be destiny. You're destined to be a cop who seeks justice for the dead. I'll try to be that person, Miss Chen. I believe in you. By the way, officer, I can't climb up by myself. Would you climb up there and then drag me up? I'm not heavy. You can definitely do it. Mm-hmm. Press A to climb up. Beautiful starry sky. It was so close, almost within reach. I started to understand how Miss Chen felt when she climbed up the well. I find myself wanting to share my feelings at that moment. But as I turned around, Miss Chen is gone. As I saw, it was a bottomless well, with the water reflecting in the starry horizon. Where did Miss Chen go? No one knows. Maybe she went somewhere far away and will return someday. Or maybe. She has become one of the stars in the Milky Way. Ming, you're finally awake. 
You fainted twice tonight. That's serious. Captain Lou? Why am I here? Hmm. <laughs> you even asked the same thing twice. You passed out in the bathroom. If no one had found you, you would have had to lie on the floor all night. Bathroom? Was there a broken mirror with a rose there? Yes, there was one with a rose pattern. My speculation was right. I entered that world and I looked at the mirror in the bathroom of the Tian house. Captain, is Lixen always like this? Did he bump his head? He just woke up. He's still trying to figure out what happened. Thing. I have to report to our superiors about the case. Stay here and and take care of Lixen. Captain, are there any progress on the Tian murder case? Lixen, do you know about that case? Yes, that's exactly why I went to the Tian house to investigate. That's perfect. It'll save us some time from explaining. Basically, there's a new suspect in the case. Who is it? You probably met him before. He's the doctor at the clinic, Yi Jingson. Why is... Is there any evidence? Seriously. We searched the Tian house again and discovered that some of the salt in the kitchen was laced with rat poison. The bag of salt had been resealed and barely left any traces. This can never be done in just one or two attempts. The clues led us to believe the clinic's storage room. We found a large amount of similar salt packages there. It's likely that he practiced many times to ensure that the seal was intact. And Yi Jingson had a motive for murder? I heard about the grudge between the grandpa and him. But there's still something that doesn't make any sense. Right, but there's no way to continue the investigation. The suspect is dead. I'm afraid this case will become an unsolved case. The doctor is dead? Yeah, he was burned to death. It happened near the Tian house. Uh, Yi's car was completely burned. All that was left was the frame. We found a body in it, suspected to be him. It was delivered to Miss Song for an autopsy. How did the car catch on fire? There was a lot of fireworks in the car. Perhaps uh, the doctor was transporting them from the city to somewhere else? We also found cigarette butts in the car. Uh, Yi was probably smoking while driving and the cigarette butt accidentally dropped on the firework and ignited them. Have you checked if he, uh, if, the, if he was a smoker? Well, he secretly smoked and was seen by several of his patients. He did smoke. I saw him do it. I was going to say... The more you want to hide it, the more likely you are to get caught. Anyway, why did he hide the fact that he was a smoker? The more you want to hide it, the more likely you'll get caught. What's wrong? That's incorrect. There's something wrong. Lixen? Lixen must have thought about something. Don't disturb him. Do you want to smoke? Oh, don't tell anyone about me smoking. Always tell the old folks here to smoke less and I can't justify that if they find out I smoke too. Now I think about it. The doctor seemed to deliberately smoke in front of me. But why did he pretend to smoke? Why would he pretend to smoke?
Uncle Wong, why am I here? Who gave me this packet of cigarettes? You... My legs are in pain. Will you go to the pharmacy and pick up some medicine for me? Go to the one on the west side of town. Don't go to Yee's clinic. Sure. Get some rest, Mom. Don't push yourself too hard. Dr. Yee? Will this plan really work? Who you think has the most say in the Tian family after Tian Wu's death? My father-in-law? No, it's still Tian Wu. You also know that your in-laws trusted the witch very much before. But who they believe in is not the witch. It's Tian Wu. This is a rare opportunity. You need to pretend to be possessed by Tian Wu and get your in-laws trust. That way you'll get the chance to escape with Feng Feng. But will they believe it? Mazao, did Tian Wu smoke? Yeah, he used to smoke the same brand of cigarettes as you do. I don't smoke. A patient's family member gave it to me just now. I'm just holding the cigarette in my hand, and you mistakenly thought I smoke. Apply the same principle. Do what Tian Wu would often do. After a while, they'll believe that the soul summoning is working. Lastly, you need to mimic one key behavior to convince them that you're truly possessed. It's something you would never do. I hate eating fish. I feel sick every time I smell it. I've never had a bite of fish since I married into the Tian family. But Tian Wu loved fish. Then you'll slowly adapt to eating fish during this period of time. I can pres prescribe some anti-vomiting medicine for you. However, the medicine's efficacy is limited and the adaptation process will be painful. I understand. I'll do anything as long as I can get Feng Feng out of there. Again, another weird frickin' twist, jeez. It's one twist after another. Did something come to your mind? Captain Liu, the doctor's death is too strange. I don't have time to explain now. I want to take a look at his body. No problem, I'll handle things on this side. Set up the rib blocks at the main roads of town. Report to me right away if you encounter anyone suspicious. Roger. He's not going anywhere on my watch. Lixon, I'll wait for the outcome. Understood, Captain. I won't let you down. Autopsy room is at the end of the hallway. Okay. What are we going to find out here? Uh, Tian family crime scene hanging on the wall. Exploring the Tian's house was like a dream. After learning what everyone in the Tian family went through, I feel surreal looking at the way they died, as if I just woke up from a dream. I feel like Chen was actually just a spirit that was invading Lixen's mind while he was passed out. After looking in the mirror, and helped him work towards solving this case. Charred skeleton can be vaguely seen through the cloth, Strong smell of fireworks greets you alongside the remaining warmth. It's as if the bones are still burning deep inside. Press A to remove the cloth. 
Who are you? Are you Zing Hui? I'm Lin Luxon, I'm new here. Oh, you're the rookie who passed out during the first dispatch. <laughs> Never mind, Zhang Ming wasn't any better when he first joined the team. Captain Liu told me beforehand. She looks kind of similar to Chen. Just with shorter hair. You want to know if this body is my senior uh, schoolmate, Yi? Your senior schoolmate? I used to call him that. You and Dr. Yi graduated from the same school. We both graduated from Shengsen Medical University. He graduated two years earlier than me. Did Dr. Yi study forensics as well? I would say he was half forensic. Well, during an anatomy class, Yi found something wrong with an organ of a donated corpse that died from a heart attack. Later, the lecturer invited the head of the forensic medical department, a renowned individual in forensic science, Professor Liu Qinggong, uh, to perform an autopsy. After the autopsy, it was determined that the donated corpse was killed by medicine that can cause my, my, myocardial infarction. The suspect was arrested soon after that, and Yi became a star on campus. The professor hoped that Yi would work with him. Although Yi's department didn't let him go, he investigated many cases with Professor Liu. Why did Dr. Yi say that he knew a lot of cops? Oh, that's why Doctor said he knew a lot of cops. Yeah, everyone thought Yi was a rising star in the forensics field, but after graduation he opened a small clinic in town. I heard that it was because his parents didn't want him to be a forensic doctor. They believed that this job would bring them bad luck. Professor was also my supervisor. He seemed devastated every time this was brought up. Sorry for talking so much. It's okay. I want to know more about Dr. Yi anyway. Let's get down to business. You wanted to know if the corpse is the him, right? Yes, we need to do it as soon as possible before we're, because we're running out of time. It won't be easy because uh, Yi was adopted and we couldn't find his blood relatives for many years. Additionally, there are too many samples in the clinic. Analyzing them one by one will take too long. So we need to determine it in a short time. Oh, what is this? I see. I didn't expect you to know this. So is this method feasible? It surely is, but bones are severely damaged. Putting the bones back into their original arrangement is a lot of work. It, the training my superior sent hasn't arrived yet, so if I do this alone, it'll take a long time. Is there any other way? I was hinting that you would help me, silly. Oh, and now we gotta put bones together. Uh, pick up, rotate, grab this. I don't even know where all these would go. Jeez. Um. This looks like a... Oh, I can rotate them. So that looks like it would go down here. And then this... Looks like it fits here. What else can I grab? This is clearly... A back piece. Uh, well, actually, let's grab this piece. This one we know definitely goes here. And then this we can match up to here. Uh, 
There we go. So this first piece. There. So we got the rib cage put back together. Your hypothesis was right. Thanks for your hard work. I'll report this to Captain Lou. Mm hmm. I know it's bad news regardless of whether Dr. Yi is dead or alive. There may be a hidden truth in this case. We'll definitely find him and ask him for the truth. Okay, thanks. Can You can use the phone to call the office and contact the captain. Hey, Captain? How are things going over there? Uh, they've confirmed the body isn't the pharmacist. Good. It's a good thing you noticed that something was off. You can always find clues that others can't, just like your dad. We're going to check the bus station train stations. He's not going anywhere. Captain, can I ask you a favor? A train? Now where are we? Chapter 7, Incinerate. How many chapters are there? Okay, we got a phone call. Officer? How did you know it was me before I started to talk? Almost no one knows this number. You answered a call from this number at the public phone market owned by the Tians. I guess you memorized the number back then. You're very smart, Dr. Yi. You almost fooled everyone. But not you. If you had taken that train just now, your plan would have succeeded. Doctor, we have you surrounded. I asked my superior for some time to ask you some questions alone. You got me. I have nothing to say. This isn't an interrogation. It's an equal communication. Someone once taught me to exchange questions for questions. You probably also have a lot of questions for me. What is the point of doing this? I know you didn't poison the family. I don't want to pin it on the wrong person, but I also know why you did what you've done. I have no idea what you're talking about. You've treated me as a pawn ever since I entered that clinic. You led me to investigate the Tian family, because you created a new suspect for the case. You pretended to be a smoker in front of me, so I'd believe that you were burned to death in the fire due to your smoking habit. This way, the mother would be cleared of charges, and the real murderer would be burned to death while you escaped. I answered your question, now it's your turn to answer mine. Why did you help her escape the Tian family? I was trafficked here as a kid, but the townspeople are unaware of this. I barely shared the secret with people. 
she was trapped here just like me. I helped her just like helping my patients. Her illness came from this place, so leaving here was her best treatment. It's my turn to ask a question. How did you discover that I wasn't dead? Your plan was very thorough, but the corpse gave you away. Which part of the body gave me away? The ribs? The ribs were broken by the grandfather. Under normal circumstances, even if your ribs had been recovered, there would have been fibrocartilage calluses. Our forensic expert spent the whole night putting the ribs together and found that the ribs hadn't had any calluses. Seems like I underestimated your forensic expert. The forensic expert was none other than the student of the famous Liu. Yeah. She was your schoolmate. It's my turn to ask a question. Why did you try to take the blame? I thought the worst scenario when I helped her develop an escape plan. But I didn't expect the situation to get much worse. After her death, people called her a madwoman, a psycho, a murderer. Which I didn't expect either. It was my plan that killed her and Feng Feng. I should be the one to bear the charges. Dr. Yi, no one could predict that things would go in that direction. That was just my first reason. My second reason. Since I was a child, my adoptive parents kept telling me that I was abandoned by my biological parents. My adoptive parents arranged a lot of things that I didn't want. I never resisted. I wanted to repay them for the kind act of nurturing me. They didn't tell me the truth until they were on their deathbeds. They had been deceiving me their whole life. After they passed away, I didn't shed a tear, nor did I feel relieved. The name Yi Jingson still trapped me here. I wanted this name to bear all the charge, and I would start a new life with a new identity. Any other reasons? That counts as another question. It's my turn to ask. I left you with a question during our first call. How did you find these clues? That is confidential, the investigation of the Tian family. I can communicate with the dead. Um... No, I'll be honest with him. Communicate with the dead. There is a saying in the field of forensics that forensics is a profession that can communicate with the dead. Yes, but that's just an analogy. I can also communicate with the dead. I can see into their past. I know secrets that only the dead know. Perhaps this unreasonable answer is the most reasonable. Can you continue to answer the question now? The last reason? Leaving Kington was her will and her expectation of me. On the day of the incident, she came to the clinic to buy medicine. Dr. Yi, do you have any Ingen Brands cough medicine? I happen to restock a batch recently. I'll get a pack for you. Thank you. Oh, Dr. Yi, Feng Feng and I will leave Kington next month. I come to say goodbye. I don't know if we'll have a chance to meet again in the future. Ms. Al, the last step of the plan is that you have to go somewhere that even I won't be able to find. The ideal scenario is not to meet up again. However, if we're destined to meet again, maybe we'll meet somewhere in the 
world. Oh, a while ago, my father-in-law won four cruise tickets. My in-laws don't like to travel far, so I gave one to Miss Chen. And I wish to give the last one to you. You've been in town for such a long time, you should go and relax. Dr. Yi, the infusion bottle is almost empty. Okay, I'll change it right away. I'm sorry. It's autumn, and there are many patients in the clinic. I'm overwhelmed. Azal, thank you for your kindness, but... It's okay. I'll reserve it for you. Tell me if you want to go one day. Sure, thank you. She was a respectable person. She was not only saving herself, but me as well. I didn't understand at the time, but it was too late when, it, when I did. After she died, I told myself I should try to leave. She wouldn't want you to leave in this way. But I'm the type of person that can't move forward without being punished. And when I finally decided to move forward, I realized I was still trapped. You obviously had the opportunity to get in the train before I showed up. Officer Lin, do you see the mountains ahead? They're like piled up ashes. When I stare at them, I feel indescribable confusion and fear. Maybe they're just a mash of lifeless ashes, or maybe they're still smoldering inside. I feel as if I can see my bodily, um, I feel as if I can see my biological parents. Their figures are vague, they are wandering through the mountains like ghosts. Their mouths are open and they're calling out, calling my name, but I forgot my original name long ago. I didn't understand until then that I'm homeless. There isn't any place in this world for me. The home was once warm, but the people who accompany me have been buried in these mountains of ashes. Dr. Yi, do you have any questions? I have no more questions. I only have one request. Officer Lin, Officer Lin please forget the conversation that just happened. I'm the criminal who killed the three Tian family members and caused the mother to commit suicide. Yi Jingsen, you're suspected of arson and desecration of hu a human corpse. You're under arrest in accordance with the law. After reinvestigation, the police discovered Ying Jingsen falsified the evidence of him killing the Tian family. The identity of the buried corpse was also confirmed. It was the uncle, the owner of the small drugstore. The pharmacist Yi was prosecuted for arson desecration of a human corpse and falsifying evidence. The Tian family murder case was back to its original state. The case was closed again. Actually, I still have one more question for you, Yi. I want to know if another person was involved in this plan. I don't think he'll answer this question. I also have my own answer. I will keep this answer in my heart forever.
Lixen, what do you see this time? There's nothing but blank white space. Where is the hearse carrying your father? I didn't continue to chase the hearse. I stopped and watched it. Until it disappeared from my sight. Why didn't you chase it? I just saw the miseries in this world. I also saw souls struggling painfully in it. I shouldn't have chased after my dad's honor and glory. There are still people suffering at the bottom of the dark abyss. That's where I should go. There are several announcements posted on the public bulletin board. The obituary tomb robbery investigate other places first. Uh, the obituary. A volunteer teacher uh, primary school has passed away at the age of 27, hereby notified Culture and Education Office of Kington Town Government. Recently, Quiche Times reported on the tomb robbery in Kington Town, which was caused an outcry. The reporter conducted a secret investigation found tomb robbery syndicate led by the Tian that existed for a long time and had engaged in tomb robbery and the sales of cultural relics. As the tomb robbery cause surfaced, the cultural relic trades exposed were even shocking. According to the ledger that was made public, uh, there were hundreds of buyers. Currently, uh, the municipal government has gathered forces from all walks of life to protect the cultural relics and crack down on illegal and criminal activities. A few days ago, someone found this letter downstream, it completely damaged after being soaked in water. To Kyung Times editorial office, uh, city was written in an envelope and it was signed by Chen Kingsi. The letter is soaked in damage, it's impossible to read what was written. We speculate based on the fragmentary content that this is a resignation letter. Ms. Chen was probably wanted to quit her job at the press and stay here to continue teaching. However, this letter didn't make it to the destination. Miss Chen's funeral is being held in town today. According to the custom here, there will be fireworks at the funeral. People believe fireworks can help missing souls find their way. This is a funeral without a body of the deceased. It sounds absurd. But if we spent two, three, five, ten years looking for Miss Chen, who would hold a funeral for her by then? Will anyone remember her? Like tears in the rain.
I wish to thank my family and friends who offered me generous help in the development of this game. Thanks to all the players, streamers, media, developers who followed the game in the beginning. Finally, I wish to say thank you to everyone who plays Firework. I hope you find something valuable in this journey. Well, guys, this was a beautiful story. I absolutely fucking love this story. It was one twist after another, and when I saw uh, Chen's little photo sticker pop out of the book, I almost, I almost shed a tear, honestly, because that's just... It was adorable, and it was very disheartening. But, I hope you guys enjoyed the f series Firework. Um, it's a really good game. It's, if you want to play it for yourself, uh, to show everyone else, I'll have a link for it in the description down below. And if you d want to also check me out, I also stream on Twitch. That link will be down in the description below as well. And, as always, try to have a better day than yesterday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.